Welcome to this video and today we're going to learn how to do testing in FastAPI. So testing fundamentally is what the definition of testing is. We're testing out, we're finding out if there's any errors, we're trying to test to see that everything is working correctly. So luckily um, for us, we do have built-in documentation, um, the Swagger UI, which is kind of um, a UI interface for testing that makes it much easier for us uh, to test. But sometimes you have specific needs um, or um, sometimes not all APIs will use um, um, a built-in um, UI to test. So testing is a good way to do that. Also, um, it's good to learn testing, especially because in many web apps and APIs, you're going to have to use tests. So, um, so let's begin. So fast API has something called test client and that is built in. Um, the only thing that's not built in is PyTest, and PyTest is the tool we're going to use to actually run our tests. So, to just do that, we just do pip install PyTest. And I've already installed, so I already said the requirement already satisfied. But if you see all the way up here on my file name, it says test underscore main.py. Um, by the rules of um, PyTest, there is one important thing we need to know. It, every um, file must have a test underscore. So it will actually test the file. And, or you're going or you're gonna have to manually write the file name, I test, and then whatever file name you have. But for simplicity, I'm just going to do test main.py. Um, I'm going to teach you two ways to do tests, one with just a single file but more importantly, how to do it with multiple files. Usually there's um, a file just for testing. All your tests are written there because if you're testing and there's test code and in your code that is meant for all the functionality and things like that, it will get pretty messy. So all the tests are in one separate file. But first let's um, start with it simple. So from FastAPI, import FastAPI. And then from fastapi.testclient, we're going to import test client. And then create our instance. And we're going to just do um, something really simple. So we're going to do at app.get. And then we're just going to put our URL as the root. And then we're going to do async def read root. And then we're just going to return. Um, a message so our message is hello world now this is not a, an example of a production app this is just a simple example of course um you can just run and see if it works on the local host 8000 but this is all for the sake of testing your own code um, because remember usually in your api you're not going to always have that ui so um, what we have to do next is create our client, our testing client, or so we can test. So test client, and then we put our instance of app. And then we have to do def test read main. Now we can use do, we're not going to do async testing, but if you want to do a video about a async testing, you can comment down below and I'll consider making a video about async testing. We're just going to focus on just um, the normal testing without the async part. And then first we need to do our response and our response is going to be equal to our client dot get. And what we're going to do is what URL we're going to get it from. So from URL is going to be this. Okay. So this will put a URL inside to say, where are we getting a response from? Next, what we have to do is assert. And assert is just a keyword that allows us to well um, test what we need. So we need to assert, okay, a status code, or maybe we want to put a message to test something like that. And what we're going to do is assert response dot status code. 
200. In other words, assert kind of allows us, in simple terms, to um, test a specific thing. And we're also going to assert to make sure that the response of JSON is message is hello world. Make sure that that is um, there. Now we have to test. Now, if your file was not named test underscore, you can actually have to write to the file. But all I have to do is run pytest. And it says, okay, we have an error. So yeah, it also discards errors too. So we can just fix that error. And we can see one passed. So that means that our tests have passed. It has, that means that everything is fine with our API so far. Now let us do it with multiple files because um, this is in the real world not really practical. We cannot be writing tests and then writing um, what um, what functionalities we're going to do in just one giant file. So what we're going to do is let me clear the terminal. We're gonna first rename this file back to its normal name. So let us rename it to main.py. And we're also going to make a new file, and this will just be our file. We can call it testmain.py, or we can just say testmain.py. So, and now we'll make it a little bit easy for us. So, um, this is going to contain all the tests. Then after that, we're going to just remove this because we're going to kind of put everything into here. So we're going to, we're going to copy and paste this statement right here, the import test client, and then from dot main, we're going to import our app, of course, because we need that instance. And then we're going to do client equals test client app, and it's almost the same. And we're just going to remove this and remove this from here. And just kind of make it look nicer. And then in here, we're going to now do the same thing, the same exact thing we just did earlier. We're going to test read group. And there's nothing that changes in here because remember that we already have our app, so we can interact with um, the app now. So client.get and then we have to assert response.status code and that is equal to 200 and assert response.json and that is equal to message and then our message was hello world. So now we can just run pytest and then test main.py and it says from main from dot main and yeah that has passed. And that test has passed. So we can say if just say we put 500 we can see that it doesn't work. Or we can say, we're just going to put 200 for right now. And you can see that um, you can just say, okay, just I just put, I don't know if I just put hello. You can see that, oh, it's wrong. It's actually supposed to be hello world. So this is um, kind of how we're going to work with this.